this is Aiden's Toy Trip. Today I have with me the beautiful Briar number 1759 Cortez C. I believe he is a show jumper. He is the newer Carrick mold um, and he is being deboxed today. One thing that I wanted to show is um, this particular model had um, his nostril rub against the clear plastic on the front. So he has a little bit of a rub um, on that nostril and he is being deboxed to be used as a body. Other than that, he's really in fantastic condition um, and that would be a super easy fix, but it was just a matter of um, pulling the worst of the models that I saw to be a body and really there really uh, weren't any that were bad. So I just happened to choose this guy. But it is amazing to me how um, poorly Briar's packaging tends to transfer. It is just squished in uh, transit so easily. Um, it's amazing to me that um, so many people are able to pull a live show quality model out of the box. I have never been so lucky, um, but others are. Who knows? Maybe I have really bad karma, but I can't think why. I'm pretty nice, really. I swear I'm pretty nice. Okay, so I am pulling the tape off that covers the back of the zip ties and then I should probably look at the front to see what the easiest way is going to be to untie this horse and I think I'm going to have to go through the back because these zip ties are pretty close to the horse on the front and I don't want to scratch him and I'm not sure why I don't want to scratch him because he's a body but I have it! Okay, so we're going to cut the zip ties on the back. This guy was first released as Carrick for the Premier Club, which was a Dapple Sabino uh, Pinto. And he was released in both a matte and a, uh, a glossy Pinto variation. Um, the Collectors Club members had a choice of the glossy finish if they were a member from the previous year. And actually Cortez C himself, this very model, was a glossy prize model for Briar Fest 2016, I believe which we um, also have um, for sale on the website if you're interested. He is pricey though, so I'll just say that. And we have this normal version of uh, Cortez C for sale as well. He's really pretty. I like this mold a lot. I'm not a big stock horse fan, um, but this guy I like. To me, he's kind of a, an appendix quarter horse style type. Um, not too heavy, definitely not a uh, pure quarter horse, but um, not a thoroughbred to me either. He's heavier than a thoroughbred to me. So to me, he makes a fantastic appendix quarter horse, which is a quarter horse uh, with a thoroughbred influence in their bloodlines, which is uh, accepted in the American quarter horse registry. So you definitely can have a quarter horse with thoroughbred bloodlines. Interesting facts, huh? And I am down to my last tie. Woohoo! Okay, so let's get him out. Hello, Mr. Pretty Carrick. Now, this mole can be a little bit tippy. I don't think there's any way around that. Um, he has pretty little eye whites. Uh, now that I look at, oh, all that little, what I thought was a rub on his nose was kind of just, I think, some dust. So it came off. So he no longer has a rub on his nose. He has a uh, white heel on this back left hind leg, which just barely covers the back of his pastern and then goes around his cornet. And he has ermine spots and striping and a natural uh, colored hoof. And hmm, not quite sure what's up with that black mark there, if that is typical or not, like if that's supposed to be striping, I really don't know. Uh, he has an ermine spot on his right hind uh, fetlock as well, along with a stripe. And he is a uh, more of a matte than a glossy, so I'm going to call him a matte black. Has a little bit, like he's not a flat matte black, maybe a little bit of a semi-gloss, but pretty close to matte. He has uh, painted on gray chestnuts and they are in the right place. I just happened to pull some Rhapsodies in black who had the chestnuts in the completely wrong place. Boo Briar. Um, he has a really cute little uh, teeny weeny star and snip if you can see that on the front of his nose. Hello handsome. This is a really nice horse. Oh I'm so excited to see this customer so I'm gonna put him here. 
and I'll look for his box and we'll see what Briar has to say about Cortez C. Cortez C, raw talent and drive for success, for success have served BZ Maiden and Cortez C well. Owned by Abigail Wexner, the 2002 Belgian warm blood gelding has had a string of stellar performances with Madden in the saddle since 2011, with 2014 being their most impressive year yet. With wins in the Ruby at Violet WF and FTI Consulting WEF, they went on to clinch victory for the U.S. in the Forosia, Forosia? FEI Nations Cup and another in the Long Lines King George V Gold Cup. At the Alltech FEI World Equestrian Games, Cortez was ridden in the final four competition, jumping four clear rounds and earning the best horse title and Madden the Bronze Medal. Cortez capped off a stellar year by being named International Horse of the Year by the USEF. In honor of Cortez C., Briar will be making a donation to the Center for Family Safety and Healing, which supports victims of domestic violence. Enormous talent. Oh, wait, the rest of it's just in another language, and I'm totally not going to attempt to read that. So I guess the real Cortez C is a Belgian warm blood. Very cool. Very pretty horse. And I am going to try to run his box out to recycling because I can hear the recycling truck driving around and I want to make sure that I get it out. Well, that is the handsome Cortez C, and you can expect to see a steampunk horse out of this guy soon. Thanks for watching.